Okay, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to have two different uh, user groups and how to um, set that up and, and, and how it works in Joomla 2.5 and also with EasyWid having two different shopping carts. Um, once your users uh, log in to your website, um, they can create an account. And when they create that account, uh, they'll put in their name and and password and everything and they'll verify it and, and, and they'll need to verify their um, they'll get an email to verify their account now once they've um, registered they're simply uh, if we go to the back end of your uh, your Joomla cart uh, we can see the users under user manager and we can see that um, I've registered here um, my username is physician and um, I've already uh, I've uh, I've clicked the email verification, so I'm already activated here, and it's green. Now um, I've already assigned myself as a physician here, and this is a user group that I created called Physicians, and I've given it special privileges. So. Um, a physician is really no different than a registered member, uh, except they've been given the physician status. So uh, normally, um, it's going to look just like this. So you'll have to uh, log in and click on uh, physicians if you want them to be part of that physicians user group as well. You don't want to make them a min an administrator or a manager or an editor or a publisher because you don't want them editing your articles on your site or doing any uh, work on your site. You only want them to be able to view the special content that we dedicated to the physician's user group, for example. So um, that is the only thing that you want to check. Don't change their email or any or their password or anything else. You just close it. And um, now, uh, just to show you, um, I created this physician's user group. And um, under uh, viewing access levels you have special and um, that would I made the positions a special um, uh, user access level so when we assign uh, like a menu button or a specific page on your website and give it a special um, access we know that uh, regular members do not have special access but uh, the physicians will have special access to that page and we create more um, access levels if we needed to as well um, but uh, so if we go into the uh, the main menu I created a uh, a menu button called physician shop and um, I just assigned it to as a category blog to uncategorize because there really isn't any articles or categories so nothing's actually going to show on that page. Um, normally, I would make this um, the EasyWid uh, shop button, but because we already have one shop, there's a conflict, and we need to just enter the code directly into an HTML module. So um, what I did was uh, under the extensions module manager, I um, under user position user seven, which is just a position. I created Physician Shop. <clears throat> this is just some background information that you don't really need to know. I've assigned uh, the shop just to this one page, and here's the HTML code I put in there for the shop. You can get that directly from your directly from your control panel on your shop, and I already put it in there. I put mine in there for now as an example. So um, this has been published. This is where it's going to be located on the page that I publish it on and these are the menu buttons that it's published on just the physician shop button Now that that button that I created I created that menu button and I've assigned this uh, module to display on that menu button but when we go to the front end of the website um, I put it here under resources it's not visible um, but if but if we log in um, If we log in, we can see so here's some of uh, my profile information. 
um, now I'm gonna see that that button see it was it was hiding to any public viewers or any regular members that log in it's only going to be vis visible to members that log in who have been um, assigned by you the administrator as a position level or greater so we can click on that position shop and here you'll see this is actually my web shop so it's a completely different web shop than what you'll see if you click on the regular shop button so um, if we were to go back to your uh, your menu you'll see that I created that page just by creating a shop menu button and um, assigning it as a uh, see any, anyone from the, the public can view this I could make it special if I wanted to but I don't um, this is just a, a an EasyWid default layout um, and here's your store ID number so basically, uh, the uh, basically uh, normally you when you create a, a shop button you use this type of menu item, but because you've already got one of these installed on your site, we had to um, create that little module with the HTML code directly on it, so that a separate. Um, if you try to use this one again and create a different shop, it'll even if you put in my number, um, it'll still show up as the first one that you've uh, installed. Okay, so that about does it for this tutorial. Um, just uh, have your physicians register as a member and email you once they've done so and then you'll go in and um, activate them as a physician and they'll be able to, to go ahead and buy pricing at their physician shop. That's of course after uh, we recreate the cart for that.